Right, it is the end of July 2022, or it might be the beginning of August 2022 whenever I upload this video. But right now, today, is the end of July 2022. And that means we're, we're past the, the halfway point. And so I think it's time we, we looked at those, those things, those, those tiny little, little wisps of, of inspiration that have just been floating around wherever and have coalesced and condensed into something that's become a, a thing. And that thing is also known as a trend. Trends are short-lived, that's the beauty of them. And even though I really, really try not to indulge, I do find them fascinating to, to watch and, and see how they unfold. And just to, to try and get an understanding of, of where they, they, they come from. Um, I mean, like, Gorp. I, I understand where that came from. That was quite an obvious one. I clocked that a long time ago. Loafers? Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, by the way, I hate Gorp, I, or don't like Gorp very much. Fucking love loafers. Anyway, uh, Gorp and loafers were, were last year, even though morons like me are still running to catch up. And trust me, you cannot run very fast in a pair of loafers. But what are the 2022 trends that you should absolutely, unequivocally stay the fuck away from? And you know what, actually, to my denim head audience, brethren out there, you can skip all of these, because I'm sure they're not even gonna touch you, and just skip to the last one. <laughs> Please, that's, you really have to stay away from that one. Right, who skipped? Who's still here? Right, okay, let's get into the first one. And that is the, the whole blue collar stolen valor workwear thing. So, double knee pants, Detroit jackets, and tiny, tiny little beanies. But you know what? I, I absolutely love this trend. I, I think it's fantastic. I, I think it's the inevitable evolution of the the whole heritage workwear scene, the whole heritage workwear thing. But with that, I think it brings a, a certain degree of authenticity to it, kinda. I mean, yeah, it was completely co-opting the blue collar working man. That's the whole stolen valor part of this whole thing. But let's be honest, that, that working man would not give two shits. He might find it hilarious that some hype beast is is willing to, to part with a couple hundred bucks for his completely worn out car hearts. But more than that, he's, he's really not gonna get that bent out of shape. Certainly not in the same way that some folk did when they're whinging on about appropriation. Now there are some cases of cultural appropriation or personal appropriation that yeah, you should break out the soapbox for, but this isn't one of them. But anyway, authenticity. I felt it was authentic because like really good pieces, really good vintage pieces could genuinely be thrifted. You could find some really nice stuff, put together a really dope outfit for, for almost no money. I say vintage pieces could be found and dope outfits could be put together. Past tense, is that past tense? I don't know. Anyway, you, that, you can't do that anymore because like the vintage bins have really been picked over, it's been just like picked clean. This has just been rinsed. Now, honestly, ironically, if you want this look for the cheapest possible, head along to your local Carhartt whip store and, and just pick up the stuff new. But you shouldn't, cause it's done. Blue collar, stolen valor, it's spent. But the thing is, I, I see brands, really good brands, only now bringing out their version of, of the double knee. So I see folk getting an awareness of that and really leaning into it. But yeah, just don't. I mean, this looked good, it really did. It looked good on when it was on, but now if you're, if you're into this, you just look like you're going to a uh, construction site cosplay. Next up, we've got one that's been, been creeping, been seeping. What were you doing? Sleep. Into the, the world of, of raw salvage denim for a while. But it's only just recently that I'm seeing guys out there who are in the know really picking this up. And my fear here is that, that seeing these guys is going to tip it over, it's going to tip that balance where, where it becomes a, 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 that, that thing. And that, that, that thing I'm talking about is uh, bootcut jeans. And actually, it's, it's not bootcut jeans that are edging their way into this space, it, it's flares, which is actually totally fine because flares are the, the purview of, of, that, the, of the TikTok kids. Get me wrong, some of these folk make it look good. Like, 
make it look really, really good. Brown, half cotton, half polyester boot cut, really just great fit all around. And this is the tag, so if you're searching for it online, Lee Press, Lee Rider boot cut flare. But the thing is, they're young. And I've had a uh, look at my, my analytics. Guys, we're, we're, we're not long in the tooth. Not by a long shot. But we're, we're also not the cool kids. Which is fine, which is good, which is perfect. I mean, fuck, I would never go back to my 20s. Forget that. But, but my fear here is that, that this is going to, uh, like all bad ideas get into the water supply and it's going to be diluted into people getting into the boot cut jeans. Boot cuts can look good on a few folk, but uh, really just a, a few. And in this world of, of, of salvage denim, of, of raw denim, Actually, selvage, it, selvage does not lend itself to, to this shape. It just lends itself to straight shape. So that's even harder with the boot cut. But anyway, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, boot cuts can look good on, on a few folk, but there's not many of them in, in the raw denim world. Actually, I, I said I don't like to name names, but I'm gonna name a name. The dude from, was it WH Ranch Dungarees? He looks great in a pair of boot cuts. He makes amazing boot cuts, but anyway, Few folks, so play the odds and just stay away from it. Right, the next one is a weird one, cause it's a brand. And can a brand be a trend? And yeah, I, I guess it, it totally can, and if any brand can, it's definitely going to be ALD. And by ALD, I don't mean, sadly, Atelier de Durance, which would be fucking cool, but I mean Amélie Ondor, and I really, really butchered that French pronunciation. I'm aware of that, fine with that, moving on. Now, this is much like the Blue Colin Stoller Valor workwear thing. I, I love, I mean, I really, really love what ALD does. I think it's amazing, I love where it comes from aesthetically, I love where it comes from philosophically, spiritually. I love the way that the brand is presented. There is just so much to unpick and discover within that. Especially somebody who is not from specifically the States, and New York, where the brand was, was born. And New York is like, you know, walking fashion model, runway models, street ghetto models, and beautiful people that was just like wearing whatever they felt was their own style. There is just so much to, to, to really try and wrap your head around there which I find fascinating. It's a well done brand through and through, but, but it's just that it's so good that we're seeing people literally copying their lookbook looks one to one. That is if, if somebody can, can afford it and if not, they go for kind of like a watered down knockoff look with uh, Let's be honest, at varying degrees of success. Hey everyone, I'm James, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the look of the brand Amélie Andor, but for a lot, lot cheaper. But here's the, the thing with this. Here's the issue that I have with this. It's one man's vision, or at least one brand's vision of a certain aesthetic. And if this is being Xerox time and time again, it gets rinsed really fast. I was speaking about this in another video. I was talking about brand loyalty. And I'm wondering if this really is brand loyalty or is it something else? Okay, I could like go off on a long diatribe about this. So I, uh, just down in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this specific part. And I wonder what this means for, for ALD. I mean, I, as I said before, trans are transient. They, they have their time, they, they move on. <laughs> That's, and, and as the trend happens, the value of whatever that piece might be, or this brand in this case, that tends to get watered down. So it, the success here in this case, in this way, is a bit of a double-edged sword. So help ALD, help yourselves. Invest in a couple of the really, really good standout pieces and mix that into your wardrobe. Don't let your wardrobe become an ALD discount outlet because if this does trend, truly, then you're gonna move on and you're not gonna want those pieces anymore. They're gonna be up and grailed where I'm gonna be buying them. Because by that time, it's not gonna be on anymore, but I'll be the guy that knows. So yeah, go ahead and go. Right, last one, fucking jorts. Now, I'm speaking to all of you denim heads out there. This is one that we have to 100%, 1000%, just fucking kill, kill dead in its tracks. Because, it, I mean, with the hot weather just now, this is when the, the, the temptation might just like 
creep in. Oh, um, jorts for any of you who are lucky enough to, to not know that's jeans shorts. And honestly, this one came as a massive surprise to me. I was put onto it by, by Andrew Chen. Uh, it was like, you know what's happening in Brooklyn right now? Jorts. I said, like, no way. And he was like, yep. It's a thing. And it's a thing that's made its way over to Berlin real fucking fast, which was even more of a surprise to me. Usually we're about a year behind anywhere that's really cool. And a perfect example of that is the, the blue collar blah 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 thing. Uh, that's only now hitting here. But anyway, right, it's an absolute unequivocal no to the jort. It's not his irony taken way, way too far. It takes any perceivable practicality of, of shorts as a garment and just throws that out the window. You get none of the benefits that shorts bring on hot days and all of the downsides that jeans bring on the hot days. You'll still be sweaty, you'll still have swamp pass, but you'll be sweaty and have swamp pass as you look like you're about to go to a kegger anywhere between 1996 and 2005. And let's face it, probably roofie somebody when you're there. But the thing is, and this is my worry, us denim heads might look at this and think to ourselves, this is the solution that I've been waiting for, a way to wear my salvage denims in the summer. Perfect, let's get that with the scissors. But please don't. I, I beg you, I implore you, respect the salvage. And if you're not going to respect the salvage, respect yourselves. And that concludes my rundown of the 2022 trends that I think we should absolutely, unequivocally, totally and utterly avoid. I wonder if this was controversial at all. I wonder if I'm going to be getting some hate in the comments. And I wonder if you're seeing any other trends that either you're into or that, 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 that you think we should like avoid like the new COVID. Just let me know down in the comments and you know what's going to happen now. Like as you're on your way down to, to make those, those very relevant comments, the ones I'm really curious about, you're going to be passing the like button, subscribe button, you know what to do with those. Also on the way down there, there in the description, there is, okay, what is there? Um, the, the link to your, the, the show your hem discount code. And um, I'm going to um, do a, a video um, on, on, the, on the pieces that I got most recently that I led to us getting this discount code. 10% um, off amazing leather goods, definitely check it out. There's also a link to the CRD sales page if you want anything else and probably some leather goods as well. That's worth checking out. Uh, we've got an updated list of all the stores that we know and love that I've got great sales on, so it's a perfect place to pick up a bargain. What else is down there? There's a link to the No News Good News newsletter. That's always fun to sign up. And I think that's it. Yeah, it's probably something I'm forgetting. There's always something I'm forgetting. But I don't want to forget this. Guys, I, I hope everyone is happy and healthy out there. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. Hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next video.